Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now we were shuffling the deck and a card popped out already. So let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of February. Now your first card here is the High Priest. For a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be experiencing having the desire, the want, or the need to commit um, for others of you, it could be marrying or wanting to marry a new practice, a new religion, uh, a new spiritual uh, process that connects you closer to the higher realm or spirit realm. Um, and, and a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing almost like a, a very strong spiritual incline. For some of you guys, you may actually be pulled a lot towards people that are extremely spiritual only because you yourself are on a spiritual journey Aquarius now what's keeping you from progress what's keeping you from moving forward when it comes to relationships is the devil card so for a lot of you guys you may have to um, there is this preconceived notion around relationships or around commitment that scares the bejesus out of you for some of you guys, it could be the commitment itself. For others of you, um, it could be that up until now, you haven't really met a person that possesses all the qualities that you look for in a partnership. Um, so again, it's almost like the ego side of ourselves is going to be questioning us for the month of February. What is it that we want when it comes to relationships? And there is an internalizing that needs to happen with you uh, to really fully understand on a deeper level what your needs and desires are. For some of you guys, it could be that you were raised and taught, um, you know, that as you get to a certain age, you have to be married, you have to have kids. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you had lack of that type of consistency in your life. So now in adulthood, uh, for some of you guys, you may be trying to... Um, be the rebel, you know, the rebel with the cause of standing your own ground and thinking freely and, and just being yourself. But ultimately, you're not really being yourself. What you're doing is the opposite of what was taught to you in childhood. Uh, and for many of you guys, it could be for many different reasons. But again, there is a need for you to really go within yourself and ask yourselves, uh, why is it that when it comes to relationships and partnerships, uh, what's keeping you from really committing yourself to um, not just the commitment itself, but partnering or committing to a specific person. Now, this could be, you know, it is a general reading, so it doesn't necessarily have to mean a specific, you know, a one individual type of thing. If you are into multi-dating or whatever your situation may be. Um, but what they're telling you here is that there's a need for you to internalize um, and to be able to separate yourself from ego. Uh, this is something you've been running on and off of for quite a very long time. Now, your past and passing is the Ten of Cups. And um, yeah, so, okay. Even if you feel at this point in your life, Aquarius, that you're just never going to get married, or perhaps that's something you just don't want. Um, for a lot of you guys, your, per your perspective is going to change drastically. For some of you guys, I do see marriage. Um, I do see new beginnings. For some, it could be that you were in a serious long-term relationship. It just didn't work out. And that's okay because what they're showing you here is that you're walking towards the person that is uh, not only going to bring to you uh, the stability, the emotional stability that you need, the emotional support that you need, but you're, they're also going to be providing something that you've been craving, that you've been lacking in your life, which is some type of spiritual inclination. Now, with the Six of Wands, there is victory in this. Uh, you're wanting to learn the best you can or the most you can about life and the meaning behind life. And I think that this is a person that could be very connected. This is a very philosopher, um, a person that really respects or admires philosophy or practices a specific philosophy. Um, with the four of swords, though, there is a need uh, to detach yourself. Again, we go back to detaching your ego from who you genuinely authentically are, Aquarius. Now, 
your advice card here is the two of cups whether you try to resist commitment or whether you try to resist meeting the person that is meant for you aquarius uh this year you will definitely be finding that person i do see a new beginning a complete transformation when it comes to partnerships and the advice card here is keep your heart and your mind open it may come uh, with the person that you would least expect uh, for some of you guys you may be dealing with water energy pisces um pisces cancer scorpio for others you may be dealing with the capricorn as we do have the shadow side here which is um uh, the devil card and the tarot card um and um for others you may be dealing with an aries type of energy but there is a need for you to make a choice and that decision or that choice is between living or following an old path and old behavior old patterns or making the transition and opening yourself and keeping your heart and your mind open uh, to new belief systems uh, belief systems that are going to assist you in bringing the best life to you uh, versus keeping yourself in a specific box based on your own beliefs. So what they're telling me here is ultimately Aquarius, um, some of your beliefs have put you in a box where there's so much out there that is best or better for you or suited for you. And you've kind of limit yourself. You've limited yourself all this time. And what they're telling you is for the month of February, there's going to uh, there's going to be a feeling of having to make a decision, a decision of keeping your mind and your heart open to new possibilities, new beginnings or new belief systems that are going to help you and almost allow you to reach that euphoria type of connection you've been looking for. Um, or continue on the path that you're on up until now. And I do see, again, like I said, a lot of internalizing, a lot of really getting to wanting to understand um, the deeper meaning of life and what relationships are and partnerships and, and etc. So again, the best advice I can give you for the month of February is keep your eyes, your mind and your heart open. You will be surprised. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, the same message applies. Uh, if you felt that uh, your relationship has gotten to a point of stalemate or perhaps there hasn't been much passion in this relationship for quite a while, don't allow yourself to limit yourself to the experiences that you have in this lifetime. Ultimately, if your partner's not really putting effort, then sometimes we got to take, you know, take, um, take a hint and maybe it's time for us to spice things up maybe it's time for us to keep an open mind or expand um our communication and really be honest with each other and speak about fantasies about desires about you know more than anything um fantasies that perhaps you've been suppressing for quite a while aquarius uh the sky's the limit is what they're telling you <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed like sharing comment and we'll see each other soon bye